Okay, step one, drawing the alligator. So you can see we're gonna be using the whole paper for the body and then the head's gonna be on the bottom. So first thing, we've already got our white paper. It is vertical, top to bottom. I already have my name on it. I'm gonna be using my permanent marker to draw. We are gonna start with the head, which is at the bottom of the paper, and then we'll move our body up. Now, if you have problems with making sure you don't know where to start, it's always really good to go ahead and fold. So I'm gonna take the bottom, fold it to the top. This is just a technique, finding the invisible line, which is the middle. So I know my head should be way below that line, touching almost the bottom of my paper. So I'm gonna take my marker and I'm gonna draw right, right above the end of the paper a line. It almost goes the full length. I still have about finger space at the bottom. Then on this side, I'm gonna move up, not to, not even near the invisible line, in a curved, so it's like an upside down J, across, upside down U, and then the nostrils are gonna come here. So again, I'm gonna do this shape again, but smaller. So I'm gonna draw a line, little bump, little bump, and connect it to that bottom. Then I'm gonna draw a little black dot. These are my nostrils. And for the eyes, I'll circle. And then a alligator's eyes, we're gonna draw a line down the middle, not a circle. And then his mouth, I'm gonna draw a line, V line, it's like a tooth. Now his body's going up and curving over. So starting on the top of this eye right here, I'm gonna go straight, and I wanna leave room over here for the legs. I don't wanna go too far over. I'm gonna come up and as I get close to the top, I'm gonna curve across the top of the paper and then come down. It's like a big J, upside down. This is his tail. So I'm gonna start my second line, not right around the nostril right here, I'm gonna come up, but stop right there. I'm not going to connect it all the way there. So again, that second line, I stopped. I did not go all the way to the top. And then I'm gonna curve and connect to the tail so it's more of a point. Looks like a big hat. And then his feet coming off, there's two on each side. A curve coming off. One, two, three bumps. One below the line, a curve coming off. One, two, three bumps. Then we're gonna do the same thing on each side, making sure the feet are kind of even. Curve, one, two, three. Same thing. Curve, one, two, three. Now the detail in the body are these scales. We're gonna use dotted lines to demonstrate this. So I'm just gonna start and make little dosh, dashed or dotted lines following the body. And another one next to it, and they don't have to be even. Okay, once I got that, then we're gonna do a few in the feet. And the faces, we're not. Okay, we're done drawing, so take your marker, make sure you put that away. I'm gonna get my second part of our lesson ready, which means you're gonna need some type of watercolor or temper paint. These are semi-moist temper paints I'm gonna use. I've got my water, I've got my paintbrush. I'm using a round brush. Um, and then we're gonna be using green. And you have different shades. There's two different shades of green I have here. So look at your paints and figure out which shades of green and then a blue. And again, I have several shades of blue. These are semi-moist. So you have to take your brush, get it wet. Then you're gonna have to wake up your paint. Now I know I don't have a lot of this green left. It's still there, it's just in a weird place. So I'm gonna rub get some water, rub. I'm gonna start at the top of my alligator and move down. So always start at the top and then move down. For any kind of water paint 
as in the semi-moist or watercolors. You have to go water, paint, paper, and you really want to spread out the paint. Well, notice I spread it out before I go get more paint. You don't want to just keep adding more water and more water. Spread out as much as you can until you don't see any more color. Then you'll need to go back and get more. You're going to go around his eyes, but you can go right into his face. You can see there's a blob of paint here, so I want to spread that out. Where the darker area is, it means I got too much paint. Okay, we need to do that for his feet. Same color. This part has to dry before we can move on to the blue around them because it's two wet paints. So if you were to go right in with the blue, it would technically bleed into each other if they're not dry enough, causing um, problems. So we're gonna let this part dry. Please make sure that you get your paintbrush nice and clean, dab it off the side, wipe it off the cup, and make sure that your paintbrush is put in the right place. Again, this has to dry before we move on. Before we do do the next thing, I'm gonna go ahead and put my paints away because we can use our yellow. You can use oil pastels to add the color of the eye. So, or yellow oil pastel eye. So you can always use a marker or a crown, oil pastel, colored pencil, some other medium to add that color in the eye because it's too small for a paintbrush. Again, this is gonna be put away and dried before we move on to the next part of the alligator. Okay, moving on to the second um, part of our alligator. Again, my alligator is dry. I've got my semi-moist temper paints, get the nagos ready. I've got my water and my round brush. Remember, these have to be activated, so you'll be doing paint, I mean water, rub the paints to the paper. Water, rub the paints to the paper. Just like when you did the green, we wanna move it around as much as possible before we get more. We don't want to um, add too much paint on there. I'm gonna use a blue, again, starting at the top. Like I said, I want to spread it out so you can see this paint is spreading pretty nicely before I have to go get more. Because the dark blobs of paint they end up wasting our paint and getting very sticky. This area is kind of small around our alligator. Okay, I've got all my water painted. Again, gently bounce off the bottom. We should not hear the paintbrush touching the water. Wipe it without tapping. Then I'm going to make sure that I put my paints away correctly. I put my water away and my paintbrush away correctly. So make sure that you are cleaning up your area. This paper has to dry again. So wherever you put your papers to dry. And then we have our completed alligator.